Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. Stay tuned to find out why Chicago's top realtors are choosing Dan Frio. Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. I, of course, am Dan Frio. Today, I actually talked to my son and I said, okay, if you're looking to buy a house, what would you do? And he gave me this smart, you know, I go online and just click that, you know, place and just apply real quick. I'm like, dude, no, seriously. He said, honestly, I don't even know what's involved with buying a house. So I have video after video and podcast after podcast of steps on what you need to do to buy a home. I just launched one the other day. Check it out. Go to YouTube. So There's so much bad information out there that I, I created this channel probably 11 years ago, and I put some just some junk on there just to kind of throw out some stuff. And then all of a sudden, I started, I started really paying attention to social media, and I'm like, there is so much bad information out here. Let me start posting some, some valid, valid or, or factual information you know, to guide people down the path. I went from about 30 subscribers... To I think I just hit 4,600. I, I, I took that jump in the last five months. And why? Because people are starting to see value in, you know, what you talk about. So you have this young kid that's sitting there telling you all about how to buy real estate and invest in real estate and whatever. The kid probably doesn't even own a car, let alone, you know, all this massive real estate stuff. I've been doing mortgages and been in the real estate field for 31 years. I'm not here to steer you wrong. I don't make any money in steering you wrong to watch one of my videos. So check out my YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and check out the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. Okay? You'll see how to increase your credit scores. Real, factual life situations. I also have a website, creditscoresandmore.com, that was created. It wasn't created to make me a ton of money. I might make a dollar you know, a month on the thing because of something, you know, maybe some uh, analytics that I get out of it or whatever. That wasn't the intent. It was to pr- provide you information that, that you can really use. You can sink your teeth into it and it works. It's not you know, some of these videos on you know, pay your house off in three years. It's, it's basically mathematically impossible in most cases, probably 90% of the cases, to do that. Or you know, how to get an 800 credit score in 30 days. If you if you have three pages of collections, are you going to have an 800 credit score in 30 days? No. So I put together these websites and these these YouTube videos and all this stuff to help you, help you give you the facts behind everything. So today what I want to talk about is kind of elaborating on what my son came up with. He's like, Dad, I honestly, I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to start. I, I, obviously, I need a mortgage, and I know you do mortgages, and I would you know, consult you with that. So I'm like, hmm, if he's, he's 27 years old, if he doesn't know that and he's born and raised and he lives with me, what does the average 25 to 30 year old know out there when it comes to buying a house? Probably nothing. Where do you start? Well, let's start with the cast of characters that you need to help you through this process. And let's, let's start it from the top. That top person might be might help you or probably is prepared to help you with your whole team of characters. Okay? So I want to go over in this show the team of characters, who, why, what and where they, you know, how they do things and why they're there and what they do and how you how you use them and what why you should use them. So, let's get on with it. So, unless you're blessed with all the cash to buy the house, you need financing. Without financing, it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. So if you, you know, let's say you, you want to buy a Ferrari, but you're not working at this at the time, you don't have any money and you have a terrible credit score. Why would you go to the Ferrari dealership? It's pointless. So why are you looking at homes online? If you don't even, if you don't have the cash and you don't know if you can get the financing, what's the point? So we need to get you the financing. So the first piece of this puzzle is getting you pre-approved. 
Okay, so the characters we're going to go over in the show is your mortgage. Who, what, where, how do you find them? Your realtor. How, what, where, and why? The home inspector. What do they do? Why even? It's 400 bucks. Why would I even do that? Your attorney. Those are the cast of characters you need. And let's look at it this way. And I talked to a gentleman the other day, and he made, he made this point for me. I'm looking to spend $300,000 on a house. I'm not willing just to wing it just by calling somebody or having somebody cold call me saying that they can help me. It's $300,000 that you're investing. It might not be all of your money, but technically it kind of is. You're going to start making payments on this thing. You're, you're getting $300,000. you are liable for $300,000 that you're making payments to and where and from. So, you know, are you looking to jump into this thing and just say, oh, I'm making a $300,000 investment? You probably aren't. And if you are, please turn the dial because th- this isn't for you. So let's go through the mortgage part. Who and what are you looking for? So there's, there's two pieces. I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can. You can talk to a consultant or you can go to these quickie websites and put in all your information and hope to God somebody gets back with you and hopefully they know what they're doing and hopefully they have all the programs you need and hopefully they have the experience to guide you through this process of, you know, what's next. Hopefully they have, you know, what's a realtor? Do you have a realtor you're working with? Maybe not. So can they help you with that? Do they have home inspectors? Do they have attorneys that do this for a living full time? That's all they do. Probably not. On the converse side, you might not want to talk to somebody in detail that calls you and you spend an hour every day on, on the phone with somebody. So let's merge the difference together. Let's pull that together. How about if you had somebody that has a web presence, that has somebody knowledgeable you could talk to, that has all the programs basically in the, in the country that you can get through and knows what they're doing? Hopefully I'm that, I'm that guy. Um, I'd love to help you if I can. So I highly suggest you hiring somebody of, you know, who has done this for a living, has a ton of programs for you and works at your bench best interest. Is that your local bank? Probably not. They have their specific programs. And in most cases they have high fees because they have to pay a ton of people. They have to pay the building. They have to pay for a lot of stuff. And again, if you listen to any of my other shows, I compare, you know, if you're looking for a car and you go to the Jeep dealership and you're looking for a Cadillac, they're probably not going to have it. But if you go to a CarMax or a, a, a place that has a whole variety of cars, you know, that's probably your best bet if you have no clue what you're looking for. I'm not talking on price and anything, but I'm just saying the variety of products that are out there. So um, I'm a proponent of, you know, working with somebody who will work with you side by side and has a fiduciary resp- responsibility to you not to the bank. The bank is looking at their, their best interest. How are they going to profit the most on this transaction? In my case, I, I don't look at it that way. I have a fiduciary responsibility. I got to put you into a program that is best for you and most cost effective for you. So do you use the big banks? Do you use the middle companies? Do you use small companies? It really doesn't matter there. You want to find somebody that knows what they're doing, has a variety of products, check the rates, check the fees, checks everything you can out about those, that person. That's why I would say, check me out. Just Google Dan Frio, D-A-N-F-R-I-O. Find everything you can about me, what I do, how I do it, how long I've done it, my reviews, everything you can about me. So that is basically the mortgage piece. Okay. So that's the beginning of this funnel without the mortgage, without the financing in place, there's no need to go any further. There's no need to go to that Lamborghini uh, dealership to look at Lamborghinis. If you can't buy one, I mean, you might just want to, you know, window shop, but if you can't buy it, what's the point? Okay. The next thing is we, we secure the financing. Now we know, okay, this is my best program. I can afford this. This payment's good, and I, can, I have that as my down payment. Now what? So again, when it comes to finding your home, do you work with a person, or do you go strictly online to Zillow and Trulia and Realtor.com and things like that to find a house? 
that that's probably one of the biggest areas that people flaw in. And when we come back, I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons of each one of these. And, and you make the decision. I won't make the decision for you. You make the decision on what's best for you. But it, what I'm going to tell you, though, is if you st- strictly use like the Zillow's or the online systems, by time, especially when the market is hot, by time you find a house on the website and then try to get a hold of a realtor and how you're going to do that, I don't know. You might just click on the website that you're at. Um, is that the best person for you? Who knows? You don't know any, anything about them. They, they, they pay for advertising space on there. So you, you, you find that house. By the time you find the realtor, you, you set up an appointment with them, get out to the property. And so it might be two, three days. That house is probably gone or under contract. So what's the best way to get instant alerts on, okay, I want a four bedroom house, two and a half baths, full basement, two car garage, and a, a nice yard for the kids to play in the backyard. I put in that data and every time a house comes up, I'm getting alerted of that. It could be a pre, it could be a house that's not even on the market yet. It's going to be on the market. How do we set you up in that case to get a, those alerts so you can instantaneously get out there and if you love that house, put a contract in on it. So when we come back, I'm going to explain to you how we do that and the process of that. And then we're also going to go over home inspections and, and why you need one and, the attor- and an attorney or legal counsel, why you need one. So again, my name is Dan Frio, The Mortgage Update. If you have any questions, please give me a call at 630-338-1160. You can find me on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Or just like I said all the time, just Google me, Dan, D-A-N, Frio, F-R-I-O. You'll find everything you need to know about me. So God bless. Stay tuned. We'll be back in two minutes. Welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. We're going to talk about now is realtors or how you find. Now we got your financing in place. Now, how do we find your dream home? I won't say it's easy but I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can. We're going to get you involved with a realtor in your area that knows the area and then works for you. Okay. We don't want them working for the seller because you might say, well, if they work for the seller, they can negotiate a better price. No, they're already contracted with the seller. Their job for in that case is to get the highest price for that home that they can get. They've, they're already dealing with the seller. We don't want to use them. We want to get you a full-time experienced realtor in your area that knows the area, knows the market, and is great in negotiations. So whoever's better at negotiating is going to win. So I want professionals on my side that do it for a living, do it phenomenally. I don't want to, you know, if we can save you 5000 bucks on a house, 10000 bucks on a house, or save you 5000 and get the seller to pay your closing costs, or you know, every little dime we save you, That's savings to you versus that seller having a bigger profit. So that's what your realtor is going to do. Okay. So I can help you in this area. What we're going to do is once we get you pre-approved, we're going to set you up with a full-time realtor experienced in the area that you're looking at. Okay. Why? And here's what happens is we want to know that area. Because many areas you cross a street or you cross a major uh, uh, thoroughfare. It, it's night and day. Like in my neighborhood, within eight blocks, houses go from about 250000 to it could be $4 million. So where's the, where's the lines there? You know, you could be overpaying for a house dramatically in these, in these areas. So here's what the realtor does for you. They'll give you guidance on, you know, areas. They can't, They can't redline. They can't, you know, basically tell you, no, this is a bad area. I wouldn't go here. These kind of people live here, you know, can't do this. They can give you, here's the school systems, their rankings, you know, they'll, they'll give you their, their intake on the, um, the neighborhoods. The biggest thing you're going to get from a realtor, a good full-time realtor is this. And most people don't know this. A lot of real estate companies, the bigger ones, they have houses that are not yet live on the market. Here's what I mean by that is there's three houses in my neighborhood that says coming soon on the, uh, on the board. 
So you drive past and it's it's a for sale, basically it's a for sale sign. It's one of those ones like a Remax with the Remax people on there. And on the, on the top of it, it says coming soon. Well, if you're just on Zillow or truly or realtor.com, that house isn't showing up. It's not there. No, and the only exception to that is the pre-foreclosure lists on Zillow, yeah. which are literally just people who are in court cases now defending their, their homes yeah, from foreclosure. it might foreclosure. not even go. It might not go, or it might go in two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, it's a useless list. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is, if you're in with the right people, you get access to these properties that nobody else gets access to. I won't say nobody else. The, the people that are just streaming the web trying to find a house, there could be thousands of homes out there that they're not finding. You would have access to. You would, you would be pre-listed on that. So here's what happens is, well, let me go through this. This just popped in my head. So what, you're, you're thinking, okay, Dan, what, what's the cost for me to use a realtor to buy the house? Nothing. Zero. The cost of the commission to sell the house, the marketing, everything involved is paid by the seller. So you virtually have a, a somebody that's going to work on your behalf and your best interest that you can hire a professional for free. Zero. Free. Nothing. The seller's paying for it. Okay? So why wouldn't you use it? So here's what happens is we'll, we'll get you pre-approved. And then we will get you set up with a realtor. That realtor's the, the conversation is going to be a pretty thorough conversation um, when, when you interact with them. They're going to want to know, basically, what are you looking for? What is your, tell me everything, everything that you want in a house. Okay. So, you know, you're going to say, I, here's where I want to live. You know, let's say I live in St. Charles. I want to live in St. Charles. I want to live east of the river. I want a house that's four bedroom. Three bedroom, two baths. I want a garage, two car garage. I would really like to be, you know, have a, a little backyard because, uh, you know, for the kids to play. Um, I want in this school district. I want this, you know, I, I you know, so I even narrow it down to here's, I really want, you know, I don't want to pay more than X in taxes. They can put all of this information in. You can, you can expand that out. But give them exactly what you want, your dream, the perfect house. As soon as that house comes on the market or on the pre-market listings with those, these companies, you're going to get an instant alert. You might get five, six, seven, eight a day. I actually, I'm subscribed with two different realtors of mine just in, in certain areas just to see how and what comes up and how, you know, how I get involved with it or how do they how do they reach out to me? Because I, I kind of test a lot of the realtors that I work with. And I probably get a punch list every day of one, two to five homes in certain areas that I want. And I go through and I click it and boom, it's all there. And if you want your realtor to set up an appointment with you, a lot of them you just hit the button and it's it instantaneously kind of schedules you to get out to that property. Right now, properties are going. I, w I had lunch with a realtor yesterday and he said he had uh, a listing over about five days ago, within three days, he had five offers and two of the offers were over the listing price. So that's how hot the market is. So if you're, you're looking through realtor.com or Zillow or whatever, you're missing the boat. You're missing the boat huge. If your realtor is part-time or do it on, does it on the weekends, you are missing the boat. Um, so I'll leave it at that. No, no bad feelings about, you know, anybody that does this part-time or does it, you know, a little side gig. But if I'm looking to buy a house, I, I, God bless, I, I don't want to wing it. I don't want to work at your convenience for you to find me a house when it's you know, comfortable for you. I'm, I might be missing my dream house because you're at work that day and you can't get, we can't get out to see that house for three, four days. So that's the realtor part. The next part is a home inspection. The home inspection is not an, a home appraisal. There's a, there's a huge difference here. So you need a home inspector. Okay, there's a lot of good ones, or there's a lot out there that just kind of give you a punch list of all kind of junk down to, you know, there's a, there's a chip in your banister just to kind of make it look like they've, they've done some work, but they might miss some major issues. So you want a good home inspector. Okay, here, home inspector versus home appraisal. What's the difference? The home inspector kind of inspects the house on the quality, the workmanship, 
the what's what's the status of the house meaning the roof you know what's the life of the roof is it new old how old is it they go up in the attic is it leaking is there mold is there you know what's the what's the um insulation in the in the in the attic yeah how old is the furnace in the air conditioner yeah, that's that's huge built-in so, appliances yeah, a lot like of this that. stuff is the major major things now there might be my no, i won't say minor things there might be you know electrical issues i had one come in recently that had those in this i'm aging myself but when i was a kid you didn't have um in the electrical board down the basement this is my technical terms you have the the switches they had the screw in things that the, yeah. the, was like that now they're breakers they used to be fuses yeah have you ever seen somebody put a penny in where the fuse yes. is supposed yes. to go yes we used to come across down that the all the time yep. yep so these these are things where your inspector is going to go through the house in with with white gloves on basically checking your plumbing your electrical the roof the appliances is there leaks is there mold is it all they're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb they're going to turn over every rock they can to see if there's any issues with the house the appraisal is they kind of glance over those things i'll say generically their main purpose is value is what you're paying for and what the lender is lending you is it valued at that price? So meaning if you're buying a house for 300,000, is it worth 300,000? Is it worth 250? Is it worth 280? And it, you know, you could get unfortunately you can get five appraisals and probably get five different numbers, but they're they're pretty tight though on the range that they would be in. So are you on the appraisal side are you paying is it valued at what you're looking to pay for that property? So that's that. And then the last thing is an attorney. Basically the, the attorney piece of this puzzle is an insurance policy for you in case something goes wrong. We'll go back to the appraisal. You're buying a house for 300000 It appraises for two eighty. Now what? You get the attorney involved saying, you know, we're not going to pay two eighty for a house that you're selling for three hundred. Well, you said you'd pay three hundred. I'd say I'd, I'd pay three hundred if the house is worth three hundred. But it's contingent upon the appraisal. So basically you got to think of the attorney as an insurance policy for you to get involved if there's issues. Um, and it's, you know, it's normally four to five hundred bucks. It is well worth it. I can I guarantee you that part, and we can help you with that. You want a good, reputable uh, attorney that is working on your behalf and is not there to rip you off. So, and there's a lot out there. So, you know, you we kissed a lot of frogs in this area as well, and we can guide you to a, a great attorney. So that's the show for today. Though it's the cast of characters when you're buying a house. So again, my name is Dan Frio. I would love to help you if I can. If you need a mortgage, uh, reach out to me. Even if it's some questions that you have or get a second opinion, uh, you can reach me at 630-338-1160. You can find me on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Or like I, I, I tell everybody, you know, look, look into me. What's the best way to do that? Just Google me. Google Dan Frio. There's a couple of us out there, but I'm the. you can Google the mortgage update with Dan Frio and you're going to find out everything you need to know about me. You can even go into my personal Facebook if you want, LinkedIn, YouTubes, websites, Google ratings, uh, everything you need to learn about me. So God bless you. I hope you like today's show. Please stay tuned tomorrow, same time, same place, and uh, we'll have some great information for you then. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 